Hi, my name is Mandy, and today I'm gonna to lead you with Jimra through a strength and cardio combination styled class. We have five blocks of work. We're about to warm up. Today, I'm using two sets of dumbbells. I have a set of fives and I have a set of eights. Use what feels appropriate for you. Be sure to challenge yourself with the weights you choose. And most importantly, have fun. We're gonna warm up. Are you ready? First thing we're gonna do, nice overhead reach. Really open up the chest. Take an inhale, look up to the sky. Relax through the shoulders. Exhale, round your spine, reach your fingernails forward. Showing this to you from the side and the front so you can really focus on this beautiful spinal extension <clears throat> and flexion. So start to incorporate the breath work. We're gonna exhale to dome the back and inhale to open back up. Let's do two more together. Big inhale and big exhale. Good, last one, big inhale. Feet are nice and wide apart and exhale. Check in on your footing. Make sure that your feet really are hips distance or wider. Once you have that hips distance positioning, go ahead and drop into your very first squat. In that squat, notice what's going on in the hips. Really focusing on weight back in the heels. Exhale to squeeze your seat and rise. Inhale to lower and exhale. Good, we've got to warm up for about three more minutes. So focus on really getting into what brought you here. What has you working your body today, right? Big inhale, big exhale. We're gonna add into this here. So dropping into the squat, I want you to give it a little pulse and then drive off of your toes. Big inhale and drive. Last one. Good, place your hands on your hips. Bring your feet a little tighter in. Soften the knees and start to hinge at the waist. Notice how my back stays nice and flat here. We want to keep that integration in the back body. So focus on the shoulder blades sliding down the back. Let's go for two more. And last one, adding into this, hold the hinge, reach the arms overhead, pull the arms in this nice goal pose position and rise. Showing this to you from the front. Big inhale, reach, pull, and squeeze. Two more. And the breath work doesn't have to be perfect. It's more about, are you breathing? Good, let's go ahead and move into some cardio. So if you're not jumping today, that's totally cool. We're gonna start with some hamstring curls. If you're not a jumper, go ahead and bring it down to a nice little low impact hamstring curl. Let's go for eight more seconds. Beautiful, this is five. Roll those shoulders out for two and for one. Bring the feet wide apart, reach it up and over the head and switch your sides. So you can start to really feel your side bodies awaken. And if you've got a little more mobility, feel free to go ahead and get a little bit bigger. You're doing awesome. I love a good warm up. It always makes me feel prepped for the day and then of course for the work, actual work that's ahead. Nice team. Just a few more seconds on the warm up. This is three, two, and one. Good, roll those shoulders back and down. We do have some overhead press. For anybody that's got any injuries out there, feel free to do what feels good for you and cancel out what doesn't. When in doubt, march it out. Good, bring it forward. Abs in super tight. You've got three seconds. Last bit of this warm up. I'm gonna bring it into this single leg balance. Bring the knee in to the heart, round the spine as the elbow connects. We got two more on this side and switch. Good, we do have some single leg balance today. So if you're on carpeting or some really unstable surface, just know balance, everybody struggles with it every day. We're all the same. We all got our own challenges. Awesome. And that's time. All right, so the first block of work, we're gonna get right into a squat with an overhead reach. Are you ready? I'm ready. Feet nice and wide apart, 45 seconds each. We're gonna drop in in three, in two, in one. Let's do it. So drop down, reach, and rise. Drop down, reach, and rise. As you rise, I really want you to tuck that seat. Drop it down, weight stays in the heels, and squeeze. Now, Mandy, this is too easy, right? 
sometimes that's the case, then I want you to hold it at the bottom. Just reach a little higher and drive up nice and strong. Good team, we're almost there. Yep, first exercise, just getting into those hips right away. Just a few more seconds, this is five. Four, three, two, and one, good. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring it on down to our mat. So if you're ready, bring your feet about mat width apart, walk it out into a downward dog. Good, from our down dog, we'll shift to a plank, do a little bend of the elbows out and back, and then shift back to plank. So if your weights are in the way, just feel free to straddle them or move them off your mat. This is not a challenge of speed. This is a challenge of precision. So as you move, you're focusing on keeping your core tight. I'll show it to you from the other angle. Why not, right? Shift up and back. Back is nice and flat. Abs are in. Drop down and press your way up. We are doing it. Could I do my push-ups at my knees? Absolutely. So listen to your body before you listen to me. Good, this is three. This is two. Rise it up, we've got a little cardio challenge. It's called the icky shuffle. So we're gonna come across and connect. So you could move a little faster and really get into the agility aspect of this movement. Or if you're like, no jumping for me, take a big lateral march and connect. Ooh, it sounds familiar, right? Like the warm up. Right, we got a lot of cross body rotation today. Beautiful. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling awake. I'm feeling super grateful that I can move with you today. So can you push your limit just a little more on this last few seconds of work? Now team, we've got one more activity to go. This is two and that is one. Step your feet together. We're gonna take it out for a big lateral lunge. Rise and squeeze, go to the other side. Rise and squeeze. So with your hands for right now, just a nice, tall, proud stance. When we do this again, I'm gonna ask you to add weight. But for now, good stuff. Just focusing on a really strong, flat back, showing this to you from the side and back. Yes, in about eight seconds, we are gonna get a little break. So if you need a little sip of water, or if you just need to cool down, you're gonna take that. Keep on trucking. Three, two, and that, my friends, is the end. Now we're gonna see all of this again in just a moment. So, are you with me? Yes. So, we're gonna grab our lighter set of dumbbells. Let me show you what's going on. No need to move right now. We're gonna squat, but we're gonna reach overhead with our light weights. So it looks like this. Oh my gosh. Big work, yeah? So. I'm using fives for these. Feel free to do it body weight again or pick up something of load. Turn the toes and knees out and let's get going. Exhale on your way down. Inhale to rise. Showing this to you from the side. My back remains flat. My abs are drawn in. Yes. Big exhale as I drop. Different than last time. Why? Because the weight is reaching overhead in the depth of the squat. I'm a big proponent of breath work. If you want strong abs, it starts with that breath. So I wanna hear you hear yourself breathe. Yes, shoulders stay packed. Let's go for a couple more. I think we've got time. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, almost. Ooh, bonus round, let's do one more. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Okay, set the dumbbells down, meet me on your mat. We've got our down dog to push up. Now I'm gonna add into this. So I'm gonna down dog. I'm gonna reach for that calf muscle, reach for the other calf muscle, shift and give me two push-ups. What? Reach, twist, reach, twist, shift to plank, not one, two push-ups. Do it again. Okay, looking good, feeling good, smelling okay, right? I mean, come on, you're working out. I'm not gonna ask you to smell like roses, am I? <laughs> yes, that is time. Rise to stand, our icky shuffle. We're gonna add into this a jack. So we're gonna come over to one side, one jack. Over to the other side, one jack. Again, for my no impact, low impact, give me a half jack. Boom, 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 connect. 
half jack at the side. Otherwise, high impact, jack. High impact, jack. Mandy, I could still do more. That jack could become a plyo jack, right? Shout out to my cheerleaders out there. Options are abound, right? So I could bring it down a notch or I could bring it up a notch. Your call to pick up your dumbbells. I'm gonna use my eights here. Go for a lateral, lateral lunge on one side, rise up and then the other side. So if this doesn't feel like it's mega challenging for you, what you can do at the base is just add a little pause Maybe reach the weights a little further back to activate those abs. Yes. Good team. We've got about 30 more seconds to go. Yeah. Good. Squeeze your seat at the top. Back stays nice and flat. So just showing this to you from the side. I'm taking that big step. I'm reaching my weights a little further back. Nice. We've got five more seconds. Four, three, just 45 seconds of your whole time. This is two and let's take a break. Good, so set the weights down. We've done our first block of work. You're gonna get about 40 more seconds to rest. Again, great time for you to grab a quick sip of water, check and see that your weights are in a place that are not harmful to you. Sometimes when I set my weights down, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just stepped on my weights. And that's a good way to hurt yourself. So I like to call it striking my set. So we're just gonna take the weights, put them at the edges of your mat so you know where they're located, you can see them. In your next exercise set, we're gonna start with our strength using our dumbbells. So, are you ready? Because I'm ready. Pick up your heavier weights. Everything we're doing in this block is standing. Like I said, everything is 45 seconds. My feet are about hip width apart or wider. My knees are soft, my back is flat, right? Here we go. This is three, two, one. Let's do it. Big inhale and drive up. Big inhale. Your back is like a door hinge. If it doesn't feel super challenging, I invite you to move a little slower through your space. Sometimes just taking that added few seconds creates a little more tension under time, or time under tension. Y'all, my favorite exercise is, is the deadlift. I love it. It just always feels good on my body. Nice team, we've got five more seconds. We're gonna keep a single dumbbell. So go ahead and set one of those dumbbells down. Find balance in one foot, the weight goes in the other arm. Take that knee up and press. So this added challenge of balance, for me, really hard right now, really hard. So take note, if you need to have a little kickstand leg, is that a bad thing? No. We're all at a different pace at a different time in our life, take care of you. So if you've got that knee raised, see if you can continue to plant that foot that's on the ground. Good, shoulders back and down. So I'm packing my shoulders into the sockets. Good news about the next exercise, it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna switch our sides here. Go ahead and switch your feet. If my leg is down, the other hand has the dumbbell and begin. So how tall are you standing? I'm 5'5 five five on a good day. Can I make myself 5'5 five five and a half, right? So really lengthening through that torso. Let me show this to you from the side. My upper body, super stacked. My foot is flexed. When I flex my foot, I'm finding more energy into my hips. Exhale that weight overhead. Yes, you got it. We've got one more exercise to go. It is still standing. We're gonna do some core work. This is five, four. Oh my gosh, leaning tower of Mandy. Set the weight down. Here's your core work. Hands behind the ears, connect and repeat. So what I love about this specific core activity is I can really take my time with it. And I told you this in our warm up. I'll say it again. I'm finding a rounded spine to connect and I'm flexing my spine as I lift. Yeah. Now I could move faster, right? 
Of course, that's gonna get that cardio element in there. So you have some options. What options? Oh, you're welcome. No, pleasure is on this side of the mat. Whew. Yes. Are you breathing? Two, and that's time. Okay, we're gonna do that again. We're gonna add little bells and whistles to it. Sound good? We get a very short break, so if you need a sip of water, I do recommend you grab it. Shake it all off, grab your dumbbell. Good. So with your dumbbells in your hands, we're adding a little element. I'm gonna turn to my side so you can see it. Let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells together, roll those shoulders back, stick out the chest. Timer for this starts in three, two, and one. Here we go, I deadlift. Oh my gosh, here's where things get fun. I reach, what? And then I squeeze. I hinge, I reach, hello abdominals, nice to meet ya. Big inhale, reach it, and exhale to rise it. From the front, here's what it looks like. I'm hinging, I'm reaching, I'm not letting my weight tip back or forward. Good, check in on your back. What does it look like maybe in a side mirror or in a sliding glass window? How does it look, how does it feel? I should feel some work in the abs, the backs of the legs, and of course, the star of the show, my seat. Gorgeous team. Just a few more seconds to go on this effort. Good. We're gonna drop off one dumbbell, keep the other. Last time we did the single leg balance. I'm gonna start it on the opposite leg. I'm gonna press and extend my knee. What? I think I'm impressing some people that are watching this film already. So as I turn, I'm kicking that heel at the same time, the weight presses. Pro tip, find something to stare at and keep going. Find something to stare at. Now don't be creepy, right? But can you focus on one thing and really laser in on this core work, quad work and shoulder work? Switch your sides, set it up proper and away we go. Right? Brace through the abdominals. Whew. I want you to try to glue your heel to the screen as you watch and do with me. Whew. Careful you're not leaning back, right? So as I press, I'm not doing one of these things. I'm keeping my torso directly stacked over my heel. Hard to do on this unstable surface, so go me, right? <laughs> go you too. Whew. Yes, team, so close. Just a couple more reps. Hello, shoulder burn. Whew. One more time, maybe two. That's it, okay. Standing crunch. Now this time we're adding in an element. I'm gonna crunch, do it again, and switch. Crunch, do it again, and switch. I failed so far, but can you balance that foot off the ground? Crunch, release, crunch again, and switch. Crunch, release, crunch again, and switch. What I'm trying to do is not land that foot. Whew. Whew. Then land, right? Boom, ah, and switch. <laughs> she ain't perfect, she's trying to. Whew. Yep, don't worry about your quickness, worry about your preciseness. Whew. That's time, okay. Whew. Center in. Close your eyes with me. We have time. Do a quick body scan. What's going on? What part of your body needs a little more attention, a little more love? And what part of your body feels like, let's go, let's go, let's push. And see if we can really get into that. We're moving into our third block. We're still standing. In this third block, we have a little plyometric. We're not gonna start out with it. We're gonna start pretty easy breezy. That said, grab your heavier set of dumbbells. I'm gonna use those eights again. So in this element, my feet are gonna to start together. I travel back for a reverse lunge and curl. Team, are we ready? Say yes, yes. Timer starts in three, two, one, and here we go. I go into that reverse lunge and ta-da, I switch it. So because I'm pressing the weight to my shoulders in my lunge, I'm using my exhalation here. Take a look at my front knee. I'm not letting it come in front of my toes, meaning I'm kind of aiming my weight back, bending my back knee, 
Upper body perpendicular to the ground. There's no wrong breathing. Good, finishing here in five. Give me one more. And then I want you to find a hinge position, just like we did in our deadlift, right? And we're gonna do some wide grip rows. So watch me from the side. I pull and I release. If you feel any pull in the neck, grab a lighter set of dumbbells. We're gonna stay in this hinge. Take a look at my elbows. They're leading to the sky. My back is flat. What if I can't hinge that wide? Maybe I'm here. What if the weight's, again, just too heavy? Set it down. Grab a lighter set of dumbbells. Do it well, because here's the deal. You can always add weight. But if you're doing something poorly and it feels weird, go back to the beginning. Go back to the basics. <sighs> That's time. Beautiful. Go ahead and come on down to your mat. So we're going to set ourselves up in a half kneel position on our knee. The other foot's going to come forward. Drop off one dumbbell. Keep a light one right now. Grab it between the hands and cross. Inhale and exhale. So on this element, I'm allowing for my spine to rotate. Meanwhile, my back toes are tucked because in the next round, we're gonna add something in. We wanna have the element of balance. Good, exhale across that shoulder head. You got it. What do you think's happening next? Side two. It ain't rocket science, it's fitness. Good. Switch your knees, switch your foot, and rinse and repeat. I'm gonna show this to you the side. So you can see what's going on with my back toes. I'm tucking them and my glute is tucked. I'm looking over my shoulder, by the way, this view is insane. Exhale. I kinda just wanna turn and, and just stop altogether, but if I do that, I, think, I don't think it'll go very well for me in the future. Big inhale, exhale. So it does require some stability. You're welcome. Exhale. Did I tell you you're doing well? Because if I didn't, you are. The fact that you're showing up for yourself, that's the most, that is the most. Good team. We're done in three, two, and that is time. <sighs> Take a break. We're gonna do all of it again. We're adding elements, okay? No, we're good. All right, second round. I know it doesn't seem like it's been 20 seconds, but alas, it has. So here's the plyo. I'm using my dumbbells. I'm canceling out the bicep curl. I'm gonna show this to you from the side. I'm gonna go in, hop, return and switch. Okay, three, two, and one. Down, hop, return, down, hop. I have a very light grip on my dumbbells. And team, if you're not hopping, I could do a little pulse. A little pulse. Right, I'm still getting that same element. I'm getting that little pause in my hamstrings, my quads. <sighs> Obviously, my heart rate is up. If it weren't, I think I wouldn't be a human being, right? <sighs> I don't know about you, but I'm more of a strength friend than I am a cardio friend. But I know how much I need the cardio. Oh, I know. I know. I'm here. I'm doing it. <laughs> All right. Okay, keep the weights. We're moving into that next challenge. We're gonna move into a wide grip row, and then team, we're turning the palms, one fly. Oh my gosh, so hard. Wide grip. I'm using eights. If you feel like the eights or your heavier dumbbells are intense to the point where you feel like you're losing your balance or you're losing your abilities, grab the lighter dumbbells. No shame, right? I just did. <sighs> one fly. One row. This should be a song, right? Somebody write two chains. One fly and one row. Team, in a moment, we're coming down to our knee. This time I'm gonna grab my heavier dumbbell. So I'm gonna grab my eight. I'm gonna come down on my knee. My back foot is tucked. I'm gonna reach, hold, rise, lower. Reach, hold, rise, lower. It is hard. So if you're like Mandy, I can't stand all the way up. That's fine. Maybe I just try to lift my knee. Yep. Woo. 
My legs are like jelly right now, and I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Good. Can you do one more with me? One more. We're gonna switch our sides in three, two. Set it up on your second leg. Curl your back toes, really key here. I ground down through that left heel. I rise up, I find my balance, I return. I wanna decelerate down to my mat so I don't crash down on my kneecap. Hello, I only get two, two knees. Reach, rise, return, and come back to that home base. Reach, rise, return, come back. Less is more, showing this to you at a little bit of an angle here. I reach, I rise, I return, I pocket, reach, boom. Sound effects are optional, but isn't it better with the sound effect? That's time. Okay, collect yourself. We're gonna move into our next block of work. On that block, we're on the ground. So when you're ready, take your weights, push them off your mat, and meet me on the floor. And we're back. So let's head down to the mat. The next two blocks, you'll need your mat. Have your weights nearby. If you didn't grab your sip of water, do it real quick. You're gonna wanna break, trust. Our next challenge, we're gonna start on the mat. So I'd love for you to lie down, bring the soles of your feet to me. Team, we're going in eight seconds. Good, head down. Arms are gonna be behind your head for this one. Timer starts in three, two, one. Let's lift off. So it's a butterfly bridge and release. Hands are pressing into the head. Exhale to lift your hips up. Find that little pause at the top and articulate your spine down. Push and release. Oh my gosh, the sun feels so good on my face. <sighs> I had to put my hair up, it just got too warm. Now team, we don't have very long here. Give me about eight more seconds of the work. I love me a good V-sit. I'm gonna grab my lighter dumbbell for this one in three, in two. Last butterfly bridge. Grab the backs of your knees, rock and roll your way up. Again, like I said, I'm gonna grab my lighter dumbbell. I'm gonna to turn to face you. My heels are digging into the ground. My dumbbell's away from my heart. I'm gonna twist over towards that side of the body. Hold for a moment. Then I go right on over to the other side. Now team, I'm not interested in speed here. I'm interested in what? In precision. I've said it like 8,000 times. So can you draw this beautiful rainbow and aim a little bit closer to the sides of your body each time. The key to this is stability in the hips and rotation through our torso. My absolute favorite floor exercise is coming. I can't wait to debut it for you. This is time. Set your dumbbell down. We're still on the ground, but we're gonna be on a knee and a foot. Take the hand, fingertips on the floor, opposite hand behind the ear. I'm gonna push my way off, lean and reach. Return, come back, and maybe I reach that arm overhead. And then I reach, I lean, and I'm not twisting. I just got done with twisting, so now I'm working in that lateral flexion. It's just a fancy way of saying I'm doing side bends. <laughs> yep, I love this exercise because literally every single time I do it, no matter how many times I do it, I feel it. I feel it in the next day, sometimes two days later. Delayed onset muscle soreness, you know. Switch your sides, please. I'm on the other knee, I'm on the other foot. Notice where your things are. Foot, knee, in alignment. Beautiful. Then I'm going to take the fingertips to the ground. Lean, away, push, and reach. Lean, away, reach. Overhead. You got it. If this feels odd on your back, what I want you to do is brace your low back and your belly and just focus on this little bit of movement. That's gonna build you into the foundation of what's going on in our middle. So just showing you this little modification as we continue to trudge through block number four, set one. So in block number four, set two, we add little bells and whistles, yes? Yes, this is three, this is two, this is one, and my friend, that is your rest. So just take a quick moment. Notice what's going on in the hips and the shoulders. Just give yourself a little shake out. 
We're gonna do that block one more time, setting up in Butterfly Bridge, adding a reverse curl. So if you're unfamiliar with that, that reverse curl will have my hands this time at my side. So we're changing where the hand positioning is. I'm gonna show this to you, then we'll go, okay? So it's gonna be a lift, and then keep the feet together, lift, and return. Oh my gosh, la la low belly. Can we do it? You know the answer, I've told you it before. Timer starts in three, in two, and in one. Let's go. I've got my reverse crunch, feet together, lower with control. So Mandy, the reverse crunch is just not happening. Another way you could do it, plant your feet on the floor, just lift your knees up. And I hesitate to say just, it is challenging. Not an easy thing, it's why they call it working out, not playing around, right? <laughs> lift and return. Good, hips up, hips down, heels up, heels down. Yeah, okay, we've got just a few more seconds. This is five, four, finish it out, three, two. This time I'm gonna pick up that same light weight. However, I'm adding in to the twist. Come with me. I'm gonna lean over towards one side. I'm gonna reach over my head. Wow. So it's added time in the end range of motion. Woo! It's a workout party. It's not about speed. What is it about? Precision. As I do that, I feel so much of my torso just going, ah! That's usually me after a couple of coffees too, so sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Are you having fun? I am. Three, two, modified side plank. Now here's what I'm adding in. I'm adding in a leg lift, right? So my hands this time behind the head, no holding the floor. I'm gonna reach the side, I'm gonna rise, I'm gonna reach the side again, I'm gonna lift that leg. What? That's insane. So if you're like, no, not that, you could split the difference. I could bring the hand down, I could lift, and then I return, right? I could bring the hand down, lift, and return. Added challenge, if you can keep those hands behind your head. Lean, lift, whoa. Did I almost fall on camera? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. So with this foot, I'm trying to keep the outer edge of it down. Nothing's perfect, least of all me, but I'm certainly striving for my best work. Good, switch your sides with me. Set it up. Same variation you took, we're adding the leg lift. I'm gonna lean, I'm gonna return. Then I'm gonna do it again and maybe lift and return. And we all have that extra good side. For me, this is my good side. So I'm adding that leg lift to work that outer hip. Hello, booty, right? I love me a good bed exercise. You got it. Oh my gosh. Team, we're almost done with our second to last block. I'm adding in that leg lift without using my hands, but feel free to use it, right? We're gonna get a big break here in two, and that's time. Okay. So your weights are at the edge of your mat. We're in our recovery period. Again, I checked in, what, between blocks of two and three? As we roll from block four to five, we tend to lose our ability to stay in the moment. We're thinking about what else is left. What I want you to do is just draw yourself back to that moment where you hit play and you're gonna do this work. And give yourself that extra boost. I'm gonna give you this extra boost. In this last block of work, the weights return, we stay on the floor. Can you do it? Yes. Will you do it? Oh, of course. Now team, we go in a mere five seconds. We're gonna start on all fours. In all fours, hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And the only thing we're doing, lifting the knees. Don't do anything else. Hold, breathe. Can you hold this for 45 seconds? I challenge you to push the ground away from you. Spread your shoulder blades away from your spine, and I want you to treat your mat like it's a magic carpet. My knee looks like it's on the mat, 
But like David Blaine, I am keeping it really close. It looks like I'm on the mat. I am not on the mat, I promise you this. Keep pushing the mat away from you. What I love about this is it's a little post exhaustion for my chest. This is three, this is two, and that's time. Grab one heavy dumbbell, place it at your side. Left hand on the floor, right elbow comes in, knee kick, tricep kick. So I lift my heel to the ceiling, or the sky in this case, as my tricep extends and contracts. Now, I don't know about you, I started with my eight, and I'm realizing that was a little aggressive, okay? That was a little aggressive, Mandy. 45 seconds facing you head on. Here's what I look like. My elbow extends as my heel reaches for the ceiling. Switch your sides now. So my opposite hand is down. My heel's gonna lift as my elbow extends. Good news. You have one more exercise to learn for the entire workout. One thing left to do and it's not on the hands. <clears throat> yes, exhale up. Can you get your fist beyond your hips? Right, three, two, and one. Take a seat on your mat. Good, cross your legs. Take your hands behind your head, lift your head, neck, and shoulders. I'm gonna round forward, rise up. It's pretty simple, I kinda like it because it's mobilizing. I'm finding a spinal roundedness and a rise. Good, elbows stay wide this time. In round two, we're gonna add into this. So if you've got sweat in your eyes, just take a moment, wipe it off, and rejoin. Good, so great news. It's like a little break in a break. We're only gonna get about 20 seconds to rest right here, rest now. So we wanna set up for our final round of work. In that final round of work, again, I like to call it striking my set, know where your things are located. In this hold, I'm gonna ask you to go around the world with your appendages, your arms and your legs. So we'll do this together, take your time. It's not a race, it's you versus you. Team, we're starting in about five seconds. This is four, three, two, curl your toes, lift your knees. We go around the world, reach it with the left arm, reach it with the right arm, extend back with the uh, extend back with the opposite. You got it, reach, reach, reach. Take breaks when you need to. Notice what's going on in your wrists. For me, I just make sure that my wrists are parallel to the top of my mat. I'm not letting my wrists in or have being wonky with my hands. Press the mat away from you. When in doubt, return to the original, right? I reach, I reach, can I return slowly? I kick and I switch, you're done in eight. Seven, you can always set the knees down and get great work. Finishing in three, in two, and in one. Good, I'm gonna grab my lighter dumbbell right away. So for this one, we don't return all the way. We keep it in this half range. So I want you to lift and extend and give me a little pulse. Okay, so what we're doing by doing that is we're keeping that time under tension in a very small range. Can you square your shoulders and your hips to the ground? It's a lot harder than it sounds. I'll return to doing this on my side here. <sighs> Listen, there's this thing called perseverance. When I start to feel like I'm losing it, I dive in. Dive in with me, dive in with me. The water's warm. Press that shoulder away from the ear of your stable hand. You're done in eight. Good, and switch. Same thing, other side, keeping it pretty simple. All we have to do is give it about a two to three inch range. Two to three inches, that's it, boo. Pull the belly button in. Find that stability in the opposite hand and knee. If my knee's bugging me, I can always pad my weight up on a towel, right? So if this position's just no, no good, check out. 
check out a little more padding. Good team. You got eight. Breathing. Breath is the key. Three, two, keep one dumbbell. Grab the second one. Grab your lighter dumbbell. We find our seated position. So with this one, I'm going to round in and open out. Round in and open out. Good. I'll show this to you from the side because I think it's going to be way more beneficial to see my back body. So I'm adding the weights to create a little more back work. I'm rounding my spine on the inhalation. I'm exhaling to open out. So what I'm doing here is I'm really finding a lot of biceps in a static way. Big round. This is your finisher. And big open. Big round. Scoop that navel back and open. Can you give me eight more seconds? Good. Finish line in four. Three, two, and time. Good, set your dumbbells down. Take a moment. Do the body scan. We're gonna stretch right here on the mat. So if you need that sip of water, go ahead and grab it. Join me back on the mat. Come on down to your back. Very first thing we're gonna do, lie down, place the palms next to you. Walk your heels close to your seat, and let's just lift up into a nice bridge. To let's let, we're just letting the, flick, the flexors of the hip, that was a little word salad for you, so you're welcome. I'm opening up those flexors for just a moment, and then I'm gonna set the hips down, curl my head, neck, and shoulders up, reach for the backs of my legs, rise my way up slow. Take my legs about mat width apart, and fold over the legs. So we did a lot of hamstring work today. What I'm doing now by flexing my feet is I'm stretching the backside of my leg. See if I can round my back. And then if you're really interested, maybe I flex my back. I feel it in a different way. I feel more hamstring here. So everybody's body's a little different. Feel free to tuck and round, roll those shoulders away from the ears, and then flex and lift your chest forward between your heels. Good, nice. From there, sit any way you want. For me, I'm gonna sit cross-legged again. Take the arm across the torso, look over the shoulder on that side. So when I do that, I feel this beautiful stretch through the outer edge of my shoulder head. Good, reach it up and over, and lean your head back in space. Good. Sometimes it's nice to just close your eyes and visualize this. How does it feel on the tricep? Good. And then we're going to take that hand down to the floor. I'm going to give myself a little space and reach up and over for the side bend. Ring out the wrist. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So rise up, switch the leg in front. You got it. And then we're going to take the opposite arm across, goal post it, look over the shoulder. Take a deep breath in, soak it all in. You did the work. So this is the reward. Soak it up. Same arm reaches over the head. Lean your head back in space. So I'm sitting up as tall as I can. And then that arm comes down. I'm gonna reach over and wring out the wrist of the left. Okay, last bit of stretching. Go ahead and bring your hands down to your mat. Slide your way up into down dog. Oh my gosh, it's like we're returning back to the beginning. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you do the workout again. Pedal out the feet. So how we're getting those um, calf muscles is by kind of squishing the heel into the mat. And then look your way forward, lower into plank, drop the knees, sit back and rise up. Good, lift your hips, or not lift your hips, lift your chest and just soak it up for one more breath. Did you work hard? Did you work smart? <sighs> Gently open your eyes. Thank you so much for giving this workout a, a try, for showing up for yourself. And man, just be grateful to live in the body you live in. I'm Mandy with Jimra. Have a wonderful day.